Hey everybody, it's Lastro Bokai here, and welcome to more Neo. We're now on the island of bad boss fights. Well, it's not an island, but it's like I mean, part of Japan. I mean, that's not its official name, but it's definitely its unofficial one. <laughs> it's like, not even an island. But anyway, <laughs> it's, it's like, someone's gonna be furiously typing, It's not a fucking island, you dick! All of Japan is an island, it's fine. But yeah, no, this is, we're, we're in southern Honshu, which is, uh, which is the main island of Japan. Yeah, this is Mori territory, baby. That's that's the clan who likes to sit around and not do anything. Uh, <laughs> which which isn't which which, which isn't to, isn't to say it's strictly a bad thing. It's just like Mori Mori Mortinari is probably considered the the primary influencer of uh, of history for the Mori clan. He managed to take them from a relatively small clan to a very you know a very significant clan in the region, primarily through his his. Very good tactical knowledge, and also his very good uh, uh, sneakiness ability. <laughs> More than one occasion, just turning people against the against the uh, the their own leader while they were in the you know sieged castles and things like that. Very good at spreading rumors, and uh, and as a result, uh, the Mori clan grew very big. And he was like, "Okay, don't grow any bigger, or we're all gonna like get fucked." This is the guy. This is the guy who understood the concept of realm divide. That was in uh, Shogun 2: Total War. He was just like, "Yeah, no, I'm not gonna. Let, let's not do that." Yeah, he's one of those guys who could see the video game code. <laughs> <laughs> Mori was actually the one. And so the Mori clan uh, also quite prosperous because of because of the region they were in. And in this particular case, they have a very nice silver mine, a hidden silver mine that is currently. Uh, Currently overrun with demons and and whatnot, including these strange little blobs down below that are uh, flooding the entire area with poison. I'm sure that's fine. I'm sure that has absolutely nothing to do with the reason that there's corpses all around. Well, I mean, binding work was dangerous, even you know, especially back then. So yeah, <laughs> a lot of dying going on, a lot of dwellers down there. We have grain fans that we can use to temporarily remove the poison from most of the area. And then we can uh, we can destroy these little these little things while those are running, and that'll uh, that'll basically let us uh, let us clear the air. <laughs> Literally. I don't know how a grain fan works. How's a grain fan work, cool guy? You know everything. Huh? A grain fan? Well, I mean, I, I can't I can't say that I, uh, that I'm specifically fam uh, familiar with uh, with with the model that uh, that's in in these these sorts of games. But typically, what uh, what they what they would do is that um, grain is not actually ready to uh, to be stored right one, uh, once it's uh, once it's har it's harvested because it's still moist and everything, right? And if you you don't dry uh, dry it first, it's a little bit a uh, bit it's a little bit like, uh, like putting your clothes in uh, letting your clothes stick in the washing machine. It gets mildew and stuff in it, which is an inconvenience and kind uh, kind of gross with your clothing, but will absolutely spoil the food. Um, so, what grain fans as a class of things were, uh, were, were supposed to do was tum uh, tumble dry the grain. Like, you would sit there and you, uh, you, would, cr uh, you would crank on it and would tumble dry, uh, dry the grain, and so, uh, so it would be ready to go, uh, go into ye old grain. That is, in general, what, what it was supposed to do, and the reason why you would use a grain fan down here is because air circulation is such a giant thing in a mine. And you know you you basically just be like, well, what do we have that will we'll, we'll move a whole bunch a whole bunch of air around? Isn't purpose built? Uh, grain fan? Question mark. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. See, so, yeah, I knew I could answer that question. <laughs> yeah, I, I like like that's that's the general need there. I don't I, I can't say I'm specifically familiar uh, familiar with with the design that that uh, the that this game is using. Might just be one that they made up out of whole, whole cloth. Oh, well, it works for me. I mean, the 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 entire concept seems to work. Yeah, the overall it pro it wouldn't work in a mine uh, in a mine this big. Usually, what what you would what you would do uh, do in a mine this big is you would you would literally just dig ventilation shafts, where uh, it, it's it's just it's just a a um, uh, shaft of rock that uh, that punct uh, that punctures up. Toward, uh, toward the surface that you know you can you can pull fre uh, fresh air into um, a grain fan uh, down here is lar uh, largely just moving around already already stale wind but it would be perf uh, perfectly perfectly reasonable for 
you know, a mine that uh, that was only the size of this main cavern. Then you you could put so up here, a couple here of these caverns. Of I'm just going to interrupt you for a second because here we've got a, a like a mechanic being introduced. You can sort of see a bunch of doors around, and you can see that that barrel back there. That barrel is full of gunpowder. <laughs> And that means oh, shooting shooting bullets God. at it can break it open. Torg! Hitting it with fire, uh, fire-based weaponry, <laughs> uh, such as uh, you know having having the flame on your weapon, uh, or firing a flame bolt, or throwing a grenade, uh, can can cause it to explode. But if you just dash into it, it just because it's just gunpowder, it falls to the ground. So uh, thank God for so that. So now they are they are a tool and an obstacle that we will be continuing to need to overcome as the game goes on. Again, I, I can only imagine what, what it would be like trying to, tum uh, to tumble through the, uh, these places, um, and and uh, <laughs> words hard. <laughs> not, tumble through not these get places. exploded. Yeah, just all uh, all of a sudden everything <laughs> explodes <laughs> because you not get violently attention. detonated into pieces. Yeah, yeah, just absolutely fucking amazing. So now we're gonna we're gonna crank that green. So it's amazing, William's amazing, uh, amazing muscles just making it go, uh, go so strong there. Yeah, you, you've got to make sure you kill those guys in one go because they do regenerate. <laughs> oh, you mean the, you mean the poison tumors? Yes, yeah, they I are vaguely remembered gigantic that. pains in the backside booty. And hitting, hitting them with ranged weapons also doesn't work, correct? Uh, you would need, uh... A lot of ranged weapons being shot at once. So, like, you know, multiplayer, you could totally do it, I guess. Uh, but, like, the general region on them, I think you'd, you'd still need to be doing a lot of damage to sustain it enough to, to kill it. Yeah, I remember. I remember. I remember th uh, thinking. I uh, think wishing that would work when we were playing together because there's a couple of them com uh, coming on that uh, that are just awkward. And that's uh, that's the moment talisman <laughs> in action. In using the twin drakens, which we are, we have equipped, we Good have puppy love. God, they, they they are like getting it early like that. It's unbelievable. Like the twin drakens are what I use for like my my build that I use in way higher difficulties. They're amazing. Double doggo, double the fun. So they're in love, and they're also in in the business to absolutely straight up murder the hell out of everybody. This mine is very high built. <laughs> you know, it's like a lot of. I, I'm, wonder, I'm wondering if uh, if it was like a natural chasm and they dug into it, or if uh, you know, because because we, we've often talked about the tools and everything for Japan not being so great because of you know iron not being in larger abundance. Um. So basically, natural natural ca uh, chasms uh, like that. Vanishingly rare in in uh, in actual geography. So the as you know, obviously, precious metal veins and so on and so forth are also ra uh, rather rare. So the two uh, the two of them take uh, taken together, I th I actually am not aware of any major mine ever that ha uh, that has been assisted by uh, by the by the presence of a large natural cavern. Um, so, which means, which means that which means that uh, that what we're what we're seeing uh, right here is just made really uh, really big for the fiat of gameplay. <laughs> that is that That's is sad. literally what this is what is going on here. I suppose. Hey, hot spring. Hot spring. Get your hot spring. Also, Get like your... underground hot springs. You know that. Yeah. Well. That too. Hey. A little bit weird. You know. It's 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 fine. God. That rock, still... that rock face there with the two holes kind of looks like a face, and like the bit with the candle kind of looks why like. Why did you have to go back and pause it? Why? Why? why and then you... I'm, I'm like, oh, there's a, a son of a fucking god damn it! <laughs> you can even see me twitching. <laughs> looks like it's back to. I'm the sorry, I'm still distracted by the face you uh, you pointed out right as I was getting cozy watching uh, watching William soak in the hot springs. <laughs> like... That was. I was like throwing cold water into my hot springs. That was. I just thought they were like. You might see when we go fast. There are like two weird circular indents, and there's like a sort of a, a big jutting out rock in the middle with a candle on it. Okay, I'm not gonna show it this time. <laughs> but it kind of looks like a face. But you know, that's that's fine. Yeah, so you can't go back up. It's a bit rude. 
Alright, now we can continue on. Because this hole only goes deeper. The the silver mine was only the beginning of the, the Mori's greed. Never dig too deep, ladies and gentlemen. Dwarf Fortress <laughs> tells us this. Everybody knows this. Even dwarves. Yeah, the way the way down is where trouble comes in. <laughs> no full damage. I love, uh, I love wa uh, watching dwellers ju uh, just sort of ooze over. So see all the gunpowder spilling out as we run into it. Uh, th th this is where sort of you can see the the trouble of the dwellers because one of the very first dwellers we encountered, in, in just in this general area, that was like in a position slightly away from us, was throwing bombs, and it's like what. Well, <laughs> Stop doing that! Stop giving! Stop giving! Go giving like dumb peasant miners grenades, okay, guys? I don't they care. Don't understand how that crap works. And I just ran back up here, just to just to show how it all loops around, and also they're a little bit outsides modeled. And I do like how the lighting sort of changes when you step up to there. It does actually get a bit brighter. The angles of light change and everything. It feels a lot. Uh, There's feels actual lot... natural light instead of the uh, yeah. instead of the warm feels a lot more red. nice. Yeah. A lot less claustrophobic. <laughs> Even though the light is broken, we can never escape. Hon honestly, like, th this mine is so not claustrophobic compared uh, compared to the to the one other uh, ones that I personally have been in. Like, like the I'll tell I'll tell you uh, right uh, right now the uh, the the traditional concept of like these massive mountains of men be uh, being miners. Sometimes a thing, not commonly, because th those anybody who uh, who's over six foot tall is constantly ducking their head in a mine shaft. Yeah, my uh, my father worked in the coal industry, so I've been down some coal mines yeah. more than once, and oh my god, <laughs> no thank you, never no, again. No thank you. Don't want to spend a whole day down there. No way. Never again. So this is this is uh, our this last is, little challenge area. This is the one uh, the one we that get I to remember. the next section. I remember I remember lamenting that uh, that we couldn't uh, we couldn't snipe the tumor on this one because this area gets really complicated. The la like I just wanted to get to get rid of one of my numerous problems here. Just just in case you were thinking the bats were a one time thing. No, no, they'll 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 continue to uh, try to mess with you with that the entire day. Have fun. What is this? This one. Oh. Yeah, the tightrope walker. That's. Uh, it seems to be a lot of people who are, uh, who are who are acrobats dying in the by falling to death. Just not not very uh, very good acrobats. Though I will say, Yajirobi the tightrope wa uh, walker was, uh, was incredibly funny to me at the time because of because of the crossover with uh, Dragon Ball and that that like obese midget that uh, that uh, that has all of the sensu beans. Just the idea of him, of him walking tight ropes, just made, uh, made me giggle so goddamn. Bad. Oh, buddy. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> unfortunately, I'm now being. Yeah. I forgot. I'll need. I needed to take care of the uh, the guy in the distance first. Mm -hmm. uh, the the arrow shooting skeleton. So let's. Uh, yeah. Let's double dog. Definitely and worth he it. Fell down. Okay, Kappa. Okay. <laughs> Oh, he fell off! I guess I pushed him off with my transformation of my power. I mean, I, I, I think that's less pushed off and that more that wheel monk re uh, real realizing time to fucking leave. <laughs> He's got the dogs out, it's time to go. Okay, there we go. Alright, we got... Gotta figure out where he, where he is. Okay. It's a little difficult to uh, to properly state through through commentary precisely how stressful it is to get sniped by some douchebag while you're you're trying uh, you're trying to fight a dangerous enemy like that. On uh, like, like when you're just watching, it seems it seems like it's not that big of a deal, simply because the archer doesn't uh, doesn't do that much damage and um, and he has a consistent rhythm. The thing is, is that is that whatever you're fighting also ha has quite a rhythm. And uh, and then beyond uh, beyond that, the um, it's less the archer himself that you fear and more the stagger that uh, that he entails. Because if you're unable to dodge at the wrong moment, well, it's probably you dead. Later on, uh, enemies will be hitting a lot harder, and our opportunities to sort of recover from situations like that will be significantly diminished. 
<laughs> and wearing a uh, light to medium armor as we do. Shaking my head, it's like it's not an easy way to go. I mean, I, I I honestly don't see how people use heavy armor in this game. In this game, though, yes, it gets you a, co a couple of, of extra hits in specific situations, but the situations you're truly scared about are the are the ones are the ones where you know it doesn't matter, and you are not you are not getting uh, getting an extra hit out of those. I feel for people who like the heavy armor because there are some amazing heavy armor sets, but you just can't use them. Especially some of the ones that come uh, come in the DLCs, because in the DLCs everything hits like a truck. I forgot that pickaxes count as like proper axes in this game. I don't think I ever used that on, on stream, and I feel like that that was an oversight on my part. I thought you were getting nailed there. I thought you I'm were sure it'll getting happen nailed. At some point. I've got my antidotes on. I've have I've given I've given William a bead. I'm not sure how the beard would help you from get uh, from getting poisoned, but you know what? It's fine. We'll assume that it it's does. It's fine because I can get it stuck in my beard, and then I can roll the dweller over and buff it back on him. Sure. Yeah. Okay. I'll go with that. Look at that beard. <laughs> <laughs> look, at that, look at that ugly ass beard. I mean... I'll, 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 I'll assume that, uh, that the flavor saver works in reverse. Here we are. The 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 you know the first area is through, and now we're at area two. You can sort of you can sort of divide this mine up into two zones. The entryway, and this is the deeper part. This is the part where the silver mine gives way to the amrita mine, where they uh, where they had started digging up the stones and ended up you know upsetting something. <laughs> Yeah, you can see here. You can see all that Amrita wedged in the wedged in the walls. Mm -hmm. Which, honest, honestly, since Amrita is okay, I was I actually <laughs> I could just hear the stress on you. I'm, like I'm uh, not even the one fighting it, and it's just like I honestly was not expecting him uh, him to to come all the way around like uh, like that. So have, having him do it was like like. Encompassed some rather awful memories regarding real wheel monks for me. <laughs> like I just had a nom flashback yeah, no. in real time. Yeah, wheel monks, wheel monks are nothing to mess with. I, yo, know, I just, I know I do all right against the wheel monks in this episode. It's oh, not these man, ones I, that like cause me endless misery. I never got good at wheel monks, so yeah, they are always going to stress me out. We stopped before we got to the ultimate fucker of the wheel monks. Oh, Let me good. tell you something. Great. You don't know wheel monks until you in, you encounter this particular level with its wheel monks, and uh, and that is well in the distance. Look forward to it. You will you will probably go go into a, a yeah a apoplectic shock or something forget. like uh, like that. I get it. You know I, I understand that this will probably kill me, and um, you know what uh, you know what we said the, exactly the same thing about dying light, but I managed to survive that game too. <laughs> just barely a lot of times, but I did do so. Oh, uh, now I'm just having all these all these great memories of fire extinguishers. <laughs> Constant murdering of each other. Anyway, it's we'll... just like we we nearly needed a peace treaty for that. <laughs> it would have it would have had to have been negotiated, honestly. Um, you know how I feel about treaties. We do know how you feel about treaties, particularly stupid one, uh, ones where where only one party deci uh, decides that they're that it's worth following continuously. Yeah, these guys aren't doing a treaty. These guys are these guys are like making deals to get ready for like one of the biggest fights of uh, of their time. Uh, in fact, I I struggle you know I struggle to think of a larger larger fight than what's going to go down with these guys. For the uh, for those of you who are wondering what the hell is going on uh, going on there, a couple of one of our one of our streams was from Valkyria Chronicles Three. And, uh, no, no, don't explain it to them. God, they don't deserve to know. Hey, man, I, you know, you I was. All of our I wasn't to going to explain things. the entire uh, the entire thing. I was simply go uh, going to say that you have one of the most delightful meltdowns I've ever seen anybody have ever, and I'll make sure it gets linked in the description with uh, when this, this video comes up because it is amazing. I feel like I say that I'm gonna link something in the description, so I'm gonna never do it as well. Nah, I mean, like. like, like if I if I forget, I'm sure some helpful commenter will uh, will yell at me about it because uh, because you uh, you all are nothing are if nothing else my conscience and memory. 
I do apologize for not talking more about the the level, dear viewers. But honestly, the, you saw what we had from the very beginning, and it's it's not really changing that much. Just you know, we're gonna there's a lot of lot of dead people yeah. that we're gonna like you know hear about. Oh man, being in a silver mine sucks. Blarg, I'm dead. Uh, and uh, <laughs> the only thing that, know, I, that and, I would and some wonder is like, how the hell did that did, does that much Amrita even get down here? Because we know for a fact. That Amrita is, you know, basically crystallized dead motherfuckers. You know, like, like these... Yeah, you know... I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, that will never maybe... be explained, by the way. Don't worry about it. Yeah, like, maybe the mountain was a holy site, and it's just because, cause, you know, like, em Amrita can build and stuff as well, as a result of, of, like, prayer and things like that. I don't know. Like, it's really... It's really opaque. My my uh, my personal. And I was going to mention it doesn't really explain. My personal it. head cannon is uh, is mass grave from the Paleo era. You know, just just, just like like a couple. <laughs> so many dinosaurs. Couple of couple of of tribe of tribes of Paleo man were just like we are going to kill everything on this island and then we are going to kill each other. Some like ridiculous <laughs> ridiculous. Japan might have been attached to the mainland <laughs> <laughs> at this point. You know, at that point. We don't know. Might have been, yeah. Actually, um, during uh, during the interglacial peri uh, period, I believe it. I believe it was Kyushu that got uh, that got uh, that got almost entirely connected to Korea. I would have to do uh, to double check uh, double check that to make sure that I'm not uh, that I'm not tripping. But yeah, no, like, like Japan was mostly connected to the mainland during the, uh, during the the last glacial period, and um, the 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 Paleo settlers ended up coming over in, in like small canoes. Why do I know this crap? Why do I know this crap? <laughs> you're, you're you're a man of you're a man of many facts, and I appreciate it. God, like I just I just had this this moment of clarity. It's just like yeah, okay, I can tell you the book <laughs> I read that uh, that that told that told me that. But it was it was just uh, just like it's just like why 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 did did I did I ever okay. <laughs> Yeah, and suddenly train of thought derailed by the yep, by well, the choo -choo train. <laughs> you can practically hear my arteries hardening. God, I, I I know what I need to do now. Whenever I want to get a word in, is just like hold up a wheel, monk. <laughs> How goes that tra that traction though? He managed to not drive off. I miss a Kodama in this stage, which is actually kind of surprising considering how many Kodamas I did find. Like I found a lot of them. Well, as long as it wasn't, uh, now, wasn't one of the ones that gives you plus elixir, it's all good. <laughs> so this is how you get to this area's health up. Because, yep, there is always, there is always, in these early stages, a, a set of armor you can get that will make what's coming next a little easier. And in this particular case, it's the ambush unit armor. So we're gonna, we're gonna put that on before we go for the boss fight. If I remember right, that's a really cool looking set of armor, too. Is it... I'm trying to remember what it looks like. Uh, a lot, you know, like a lot of a lot of the sets are just kind of like different variations of, of like sort of you know decent decent looking foot soldier equipment pieces. Mm -hmm. and, and you know I like it. All right, let's. Uh, he here I'm like, all oh, right, what am I doing? I keep I like every time I every time I <laughs> I see one of the, uh, one of those little gaps, I always expect to be able to like. Do a Zelda Ocarina of Time jump uh, jump here, even though you know that's mm. not even remotely a thing in this game, and the game never pretends that it is. I just keep splicing my games. It's weird. Yeah. <laughs> we live in hope that you know it'll do what we want it to do. So yeah, now we need to unlock a shortcut, which means we need to uh, we need to go this way because this is right around the corner from the boss like we went we went a pretty wide turn and if we do this the only thing we'd have to worry about on the way to the boss is uh, is a a monk wheel and a uh, and a roaming only, uh, dweller I think actually yeah just a dweller. I mean there's still there's still a wheel monk as, as part of the uh, part, uh, part of the the boss toll booth I guess I'll call it so I'm already I'm already off board with this oh, that's all right he 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 does a he does a big wide circle. He's pretty easy to avoid, to be honest. Oh right, yeah, once that he, wheel you know. monk. I, I just I just got which one you were even referring to. 
Here, here I'm like, oh shit, there's a chest there. I can tell because I can sense the treasure because of my item. You're actually supposed to dash from, from over on the other side, and I try to dash here, and it's not going to work. <laughs> Barely not going to work. And then I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to stop doing that, because this, like, this video has gone long enough as it is, and of course, now I look at it, it's not nearly as long. It's funny, the fishing village was like 50 minutes, and this one's like 33. The difference is that the fishing village changes it up in a lot of ways, in scenery, in, uh, uh, in enemies, in, in, in environmental threats. This is just one big fucking mine. One big poison mine. This isn't even the sewer level, ladies and gentlemen. The sewer level, the sewer level is actually one of my favorite fucking concepts ever. Um, so here we go, boss arena. Let's get into our ambush set. There we go. Look at us. I, was, I remember it was the hat. It There's was our the beard. hat that, that made me sit up and take notice on this one. We will get, uh, we will get an even better hat when we finish this mission. We will get a Mori hat. All right, here we go. So here he is, uh, the worst, as in the lamest boss in, in Neo, unfortunately. The Great Centipede he is composed of several large poison pieces um, that when you attack, you know, when you hit it, will uh, will eventually break off. Double doggo, go! Yeah, we are, we are lightning doggoing him. Yeah, no, th this guy, this guy is not worth fighting, uh, fighting properly. I remember even when we were do uh, doing it on stream, like, uh, like we basically separated up tasks that we switched every now and again, wherein um, one of us would uh, would would stay in position to uh, to keep the to keep the grain fans going, while the other one would fight. The 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 problem with the Great Centipede um, is simply that he's not a particularly interesting boss. Um, he will buff poison. He will buff paralysis. He will, and he will, he will lunge at you, and he will spit rocks at you. Now, now he, here I've noticed uh, one of the one of the body segments, which is actually the first time this has happened to me, has not left the arena and has like settled down somewhere to poison the area. Oh god! That never happened to me before. I was like, oh, I thought I killed all of them, or all of them fled. No, nope, one of them hangs around. There he is. What a dingus. Yeah, so I'm like, oh, well, I better kill this thing. Yeah, I would too. And then it doesn't die. Oh, for God's sakes. Good waste okay. the bad rubbish. So, and, and now I'm poisoned again. So I'm like, okay, well, that's fine. Let's just, uh, let's just go up again. I thought that was another one. And I'm like, oh, wait, no, that's just the wall. Okay. Because the poison hasn't really gone. Uh, oh, no, it has gone. It's going down. But it doesn't seem like it's gone. So let's just get out of here and... Oof! That doesn't count as dying to a boss because that was gravity. <laughs> no, just kidding. Oh. <laughs> Mega. Not the first time I've died to the Great Centipede, but the first time in a long time I have died to the Great Centipede. <laughs> so, you might have noticed the big annoying thing about the Great Centipede is that his tracking is laser sharp. Like, he will follow you with absolute perfect turning. Even if it clips into himself, which, by the way, I don't like very much and think is a really bad design. Hey man, on the we've, boss we've like known that, that hasn't been uh, been uh, been allowed since Snake. All right, that was what, like 1978. Hang on, I'm actually gonna go look up when, uh, when Snake was released. And the second major problem with uh, with this, the second major problem with this boss, is that. It has only really got one target, targetable point once you knock all the extra bits off. And it's on his head. And his head spends a lot of time when you're actually trying to fight him off the ground. So he's actually like a genuinely unfun boss. Your only way to actually fight him is occasionally he will, you know, put his head... That's what this guy's leaving. He's like, I don't want to! No, please! <laughs> yeah, you get out of here, buddy. So the, the major problem with the centipede boss is, like, like I said, he follows you... You have to block him, then he does a thing. You can't target his lower body, so trying to hit him, you're aiming at his head, so you gotta yeah. detarget and then fight him. Or move to the side and fight him. And then he just turns with absolute 
like, laser, like, sharp laser sharp pinpoint accuracy. accuracy. And I, like I said, I just don't like this boss because the boss needed a little more time in the oven. Good God. Like, seriously, he was, he was eating his own butthole. That thing just ate its own butthole. That is not okay. Yeah, it's fucking raw, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, also, <laughs> 1976. 1976 was the the first version of it. Arcade game blockade. So th this is this is a worm that uh, that is going against like 40 years of tradition here. That's not okay. And, buddy. and that tracking, you can see, like the tracking just is ridiculous on this boss. Look. So I'm just like, okay, you know what? Let's just. Uh, Double dog. Oh, okay, I missed oh. because he was read up. Because apparently that wasn't close enough, so I'm so annoyed <laughs> I like right this now. Boss. So you get it, and then once you get him down far enough, um, he will leave and go get his sickness back, um, which is, you know, waste your time. Yeah, no, it's it's not fun. See, look, we've got him so low already. It's like, okay, I'll attack him with dogs. Yay, double dog, yeah. go go! I, I got him. I got him with a little bit of dogging. Yeah, and then he leaves. Yeah. Don't fall down those holes, they're bottomless pits, obviously. Let's get up here, let's crank this crank the fan again, because more poison's gonna come out. There he is. He's, he's come out, he knows he knows he's only got one way to get to me, and then I do this. What's nice at least is um killing all of these things gives you so much emrita, you could just living weapon again really easily. Hopefully that's enough to finish this nerd. Good riddance. The worst boss on the bad boss section of the game. <sighs> it's all uphill from here, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, though the next one is barely uphill. Let's kill it then. Hang ominously. We're not going to see her for a little while because we got a lot of side quests coming up after this. But, you know, it's done. It's done. We got rid of him. The, the, the centipede is probably the lowest point in this game, I would say. This mine is probably the lowest point in this game. <laughs> Both literally and figuratively. Yeah. <laughs> this is true. The The level design from here on in is just a lot better. A lot of the levels are just better. And uh, and the bosses are just better. I suppose someone always has to be the worst. The the, the you, you you fight a lot of bosses again throughout the game, you will never see the centipede again. GG, no re. <laughs> GG, no re. You will see a centipede, it won't be this centipede. I feel like that the other centipede is an apology. <laughs> But that's, that's a long way from now. Oh dear. But yeah, no, that was, uh, that was the silver mines, and as a result of that we get ourselves a nice hat. As a reward. Look at it. That nice. And, that is uh, a pretty yeah, baller looking the last hat, and I have been appreciating that hat. <laughs> and we'll, uh, <laughs> we'll see y'all next time when we go back into the mine, but also we try to appease some gods.